Are you wondering how this machine works? Are you curious of all the different skills required to make this robotic arm? Lucky for you, I'm going to show you how. My name's Dylan Wilson, and this is how I made my Mimic robotic arm. The main skill in this project was understanding how to control servo motor using Arduino. The core concept lies in the fact that I'm using potentiometers as input to the servo motors. This allows me to directly mimic the rotation of a potentiometer by mapping the raw data values, which range from 0 to 1023, to a degree range, such as from 0 to 180. Moving off this basic concept, I made a servo arm with potentiometers at the joints of the arm, so I could control the six servos on the mechanical robot arm. One of the most time-consuming parts of this project was getting rid of electronic noise in the servo motors. In the early stages of my robot, the servos would twitch and seize when I didn't tell them to. I realized there were two things I was doing wrong. The first was that I didn't have my 5 volt 2 amp power supply grounded to the Arduino board. The second was that I was using 10k pots instead of 5k pots. After I switched the potentiometers and properly grounded my circuit, the noise in the servos were gone. The other most time consuming activity was developing the physical pieces that the robot would use through CAD. I never used CAD before this project, so using Onshape for the first time took a little getting used to. After pondering many designs, I ended up using an arm that would operate from one side of the servo with the rib through the center to increase stability. Overall, I hope you understood and enjoyed this brief overview of my first engineering project. My name is Dylan Wilson and thanks for watching.